Beating FNAF Security Breach without jumping was way harder than without sprinting. It's been a long road that has spanned over weeks, and I'm gonna show you how we did it. Jumpless is not my victory alone, by any means. We had an entire team of dedicated players and emotional support members helping out the lead game breaker who figured out many of the strategies you're about to see, Tomo. As such, the team was named Team Tomo, and they have a permanent role in the community now. They are the ones who solved the seemingly impossible challenges we had beating this game, Jumpless. I'm gonna explain the lore, failed ideas, hours spent pushing popcorn, balls, lids, and using 90 chrome tabs to attempt to skip triggers as I go along in the run. Obviously, the majority of the game doesn't require jumps, because it's by no means a platforming game. But those very specific areas that you never think about when playing normally brought hell upon me, chat, and Team Tomo. The only consistency throughout this challenge was that nothing ever went to plan. Ever. 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 <laughs> it was a total mess, but a mess I wouldn't trade for the world. When I'm spending like 40 hours making a video like this, breaks are essential. And what better way to take a break than playing a sick game on your phone? Oh, that's right, this video is sponsored by Monster Legends. You don't even have to worry about running or jumping when you can build a world for your monsters to live in and collect hundreds of unique bad boys with different rarities and elements. Gregory, I think you deserve a reward. Get out of my face, Vanessa! I'm busy playing Monster Legends with my ally Monster Masters, fighting in team wars and getting ready for the next weekly event. And unlike your sorry ass, Monster Legends is free to play on both iOS and Android. Why breed fear when you could be breeding different monsters to create unique new species to compare with YouTuber Island, where you can find monsters created by some of the biggest YouTubers. Oh my god, it's McCreamy! Then take those creations and put them to the test in different PvP modes to conquer the adventure map once and for all. If you click the download link in the description, you'll get absolutely mad stonks, as well as this homie, Cowrie. But the stonks are quickly fading. You've only got until February 6th to claim your reward. That's your legend. Add over. Okay, jumping. <laughs> Just like last time, except we're not gonna fuck it up. We're gonna make it L, because if I have to jump, it's gonna be an L. <laughs> One of the main questions I would receive for Jumpless is, how are you gonna escape Freddy's room at the start? Well, it took a while to figure out, but not at all that absurd. At first glance, not very scalable without jumping. However, however, give me some time. Give me some time. It will be done. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. Is it over here? Oh, God. Progress? Oh, shit. <laughs> And just like that! No jumping. This was day one of Jumpless. My birthday, actually. And we didn't have much of a plan. Just wanted to see where, if at all, the game required jumps. <laughs> For a good chunk of the start of the game, you're not asked to jump at all. The tutorial chase, lobby, and daycare was no threat at all. She didn't lose Hagram. I'm impressed! <laughs> when given the split path after daycare between Pizza Bot and Prize Counter, I, of course, went Pizza Bot, easily overcoming the one section I was a little concerned over. You can just, like, run up to it, you go up, and you can crouch. It's no problem. I was kind of worried about it, though. That was one of the things I was concerned about. It was the calm before the storm of butts and balls. This was before I had figured out how to get both split path security badges, which I'll explain later but essentially I progressed the game as normal, as opposed to tearing it apart like I do now. This meant I got the screwdriver, visited Freddy who's broken for seemingly no reason, and- Gregory, do you see a small vent on the- God, no, please. I've heard it enough. I am the next FNAF lore master, yes, Sergeant? Just wait. I'll have a lore video coming out eventually, revealing the truth about MapBot. The Showtime disc presented no jumping requirements, and I was feeling pretty good entering parts and services on my way to Endos. Freddy did just kind of let that happen. Who do you think would win, Moonman or Freddy? I'm willing to put my money on Freddy. And yet, here we are. Hi. 
Oh shit! Not this vent again, I swear. It's the same vent. The exact same goddamn vent that gave me so much hell in Sprintless. I'd been put to shame by this thing once already when I had to sprint through it to survive, and was gonna go to great lengths to defeat it this time. This was it, they put this box here and they said, this is, this is how we'll make him jump, boys. We got him. Try to launch yourself somehow. <laughs> exactly how do you suggest I launch myself? Can I touch him without dying? Oh, he's just totally not out. I learned something. You can touch the back of his legs. Hi. I can totally just map. ride his butt cheeks. Mm-hmm. Take this map. I see that heel. <laughs> don't think I don't see that heel, big guy. Hmm. Not a big fan of this position. You know, I never considered the possibility that Robo Butt wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, zoinks! Whoa! Look at that curve! Look at this guy's back! Like I- Robo Butt is touchable. I'm just not convinced that I'm getting much, if any, elevation from this. I think we just take a jump for now. We'll- we'll check the rest of the game. Take the L. We're taking the L. It did hurt. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cruel world. It's a very cruel world. All right, well, we got a lot of booty. Let's bring it home. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find anything pushable in here. Maybe there's something pushable in this room. Can I push these pots? No. This is a big place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can climb up in the- I think I can only kick it around. There's more balls. Perhaps the Freddy ball? Balls? Balls? <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking scum. Alright, let's get the ball to the door. <laughs> no more booty strat now, it's ball strat. Undercover. Going back for the balls. Stop moving! Oh no, I could totally get it up that, maybe. You saved, right? Uh -oh. Shit! <laughs> Shit! We have to get the ball from the ground to the platform. And if you guys left me alone, it would be significantly more straightforward. Just, it's, there's never no one, you know? It's never just me. Like, come on, boys. Uh, what? I think we just found a way to despawn the goddams. This is my new magic trick. It's called Endo Be Gone. Ta da! <laughs> the issue is the edge of this barrier has no hit detection. So while I'll go up it, the ball is getting. Oops. By the way, this ball never stops getting momentum. <laughs> this happens, and we need it to not, not happen. All right, I'm just gonna run at it. Go up! Bah! <laughs> Wait, it's still here, okay. E duh. Duh. <laughs> this is so stupid. Psst. Monty ball. I think we gotta take an L, guys. I think we gotta take the L. <laughs> I think we gotta take the L. <laughs> so, that's two jumps. But I didn't expect to succeed on the first try. It was more of a testing ground to see how many jumps I would have to overcome. After getting the party pass, I elected to go the Chica route because I knew for sure I had no means of avoiding the jumps into the vent after killing Monty. Chica was more promising. And I was wrong about that. Fazer Blast wasn't tough jumpless and I had high hopes, but even though I was super familiar with the game at this point, getting Monty's goo had never jumped out at me, pun intended, as something that had required jumps. Not until I set my eyes on the stack of boxes that would take a collective dozens of hours 
to mount successfully. Obviously, I needed something to raise me up so I could just walk up the boxes, similarly to other areas. Okay, wait, let's go look around for a movable. But I, I wonder if there's not bowling balls in the bowling alley, you know? That, that doesn't seem Please take this that one. absurd of an assumption. This is an entire bowling alley, and there are no movable bowling balls anywhere. Except the basement, but they can't go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. The only movable object was this popcorn cup. <laughs> and it did not move very well at all. Crayon. Wait, wait, oh, by the way. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, popcorn! In order to get a lift onto even the first box, I would have to push this thing all the way over here. You and I are going to go on a journey. Just me and the popcorn. Let's go. <sighs> Play the montage. <laughs> this is fucking miserable. <laughs> so, <sighs> thoughts so far. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going fantastic. <laughs> Better text the GF. Page. Okay, so so page. So there's this popcorn cup, right? I'm I'm trying to get this popcorn cup in order to pick up Monty's goo. Oh, and also it gets better. I don't know if it's gonna work. That was oh, just a few more of those. We'll be there. Okay, this whole going the wrong way. Sorry, a little high bitch. Where'd it go? Okay, one good hit. This is my first stream. You're in for a treat. <laughs> oh! Ready is only very marginally better at this. I know Freddy's battery's dying, I'm just like, trying my best here. Have you guys ever been in a stream where a man in a life-sized human bear costume has ri ridden a popcorn cup? Come here. Come here, little present. All right, we're taking a jump because I want to get through the run so that we can know all the spots, so that we can work on all of them. That's kind of my thought. Testing run. Testing run. I didn't have to commit hours of my life to popcorn strats. At least not yet. All right. Security One, security two. Security! After killing Chica, I was very afraid for trash land because that's where I knew I would have to jump at least once. Dubs! Woo! So far, trash land has zero jumps. This is, this is the part that I was concerned about, by the way. But it looks okay, maybe. Come on, but you know, like, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Despite it looking super close, Gregory was not getting on top of that pipe. In shame, I took a fifth jump. Might be able to, maybe, maybe be able to move them all. Maybe be able to remove them all, sorry. That's five. God damn. The arcade was annoying since I couldn't drop down onto your boy, but fine. After Roxy, I had gotten to the escape ending with five jumps. My goal in the run was Afton, of course, since if you can do Afton, you can pretty much do all the endings, and it's the true, canon, prestigious ending with the worst credits music, whatever you want to call it. And I know that if I had gone the distance and killed Monty to kill Afton, I would have had at least another two jumps, making the total seven jumps. Stupid vent. Monty Scoo, Trashland Pipe, and the Monty Fight Stage. Four mandatory jump sections that would take something insane to skip. Thankfully, I was able to remove two of the jumps just days after, using the strategy that had originally been planned for Sprintless, getting both security badges on the split path before Endos, so you'd have four by the time you got to Endos and would never have to look that stupid vent in the eye. 
rip butt and ball strats. But to be honest, I was pretty happy to see them go. Like I said, I tried to do this on Sprintless, and this was actually the first time that I tried it out. This is big. All right. Let me... Th pretty much the next 10 seconds decides whether or not we have to jump twice. So I have security level 4. So I should be able to go through this door. But if the game has some weird scripting thing that doesn't let me through the door for whatever reason, even though I have the security badge... Then we're screwed. Wait, is this it? Yes! Yes! That's Endo's fully skipped. The vent has been defeated. <laughs> that put us at five jumps between three places. And to start, we're going to take a look at Monty's goo and Bonnie's bowl. Because here is where I met Tomo, the man who would start grinding out skip concepts and inspire a team to run alongside him. Thank you for all the follows. Let's go, Popcorn Cup. That's some good fucking progress. It's day two of Jumpless, and I've made it to Bonnie's Bowl with zero jumps and am back to pushing popcorn. I had noticed that getting onto the first box wouldn't be enough either, so the plan was to get Freddy onto the first box and have him deposit Gregory on top of the second box. And so I went back to pushing popcorn. Anybody got any stories? I went to like a summer camp, like a five day summer camp, and I don't know if you guys know Veggie Tales, but we found this like Laura, who's the carrot. Oh god. Um thumb thing, thumb thumb puppet or whatever. And we started like praising it as our god. And then at one point somebody took Laura and buried her in the sand somewhere and we couldn't find her. And so we made a video on our counselor's camera of all of us like jumping out the window of our cabin in despair because <laughs> we'd lost Laura. Were you here when the fucking popcorn cup? <laughs> Apparently Tomo had done it. He had gotten Freddy onto the box with popcorn pushing and deposited Gregory in just such a way that it made him be able to reach the gift box. Eventually, he was able to record a video for us at well. It looked beautiful. It looked like hope. So after 20 minutes, when I finally got the popcorn into position, I went for the legendary Freddy drop into that perfect spot. This map. One more time, 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 one more time. Nothing. I don't know what blessing Tomo put on his game that day, but it was not happening for me. And as time went on, it would stop working for Tomo as well. I went and got extra Freddy batteries so I would have more drop attempts and grabbed the shoes too. Not necessarily for the speed boost, but because Tomo had them. Security breach quirks are like that. For all I knew, I wasn't getting this weird specific clip because I had the wrong plushie in my inventory. It could have been frame rate related, graphics related, hardware related, or maybe Steel Wool's anti jumpless patch came early to mess with me. We tried absolutely everything, down to overlaying specific lines that were visible in Tomo's video over my screen to get that pixel perfect setup, but to no avail. Three hours after I had begun pushing popcorn that day, we gave up and called it on popcorn strats for the day. <laughs> We pushed popcorn for two and a half goddamn hours. Some might say it was a waste. I do disagree. Failure is only one step <laughs> on the great road to greatness. <laughs> and we will return stronger than ever. But I think for now, I think Monty's goo will I beat me. I you, Spiff, you can do this. I can, but today might not be the day. To set this a jump button. <laughs> oh, Freddy. But over the next couple days, something would begin to grow in my Discord. Tomo was spending hours at a time theorizing and testing ways to be able to get the goo consistently, as well as the other jumps, and others were joining him. Some bringing new ideas and theories, others with just moral support, but there would constantly be like eight or nine people in the call with him. I was super knee deep in video editing at the time because I hadn't gone full time with my own content yet and was still working as a freelance editor. I would join the call when there were new strats and share my own ideas, but I really have to give credit to Team Tomo. 
our love of bringing this game to its knees brought us together. And we were never going to let Jumpless defeat us. Remember, popcorn strats gone. Today, I was taking two new individuals on a date. While I originally noted that no feckin' balls moved around and our only salvation was this poorly shaped popcorn container, we had discovered two additional movable objects. Lids. These bad boys move way more efficiently than popcorn strats. Sometimes too efficiently. Whoa! <laughs> Not to mention that one was across the entire bowling alley and another was down a few flights of stairs. Not only that, but the new strat was easily twice as hard as the previous. Since the single box Freddy strat seemed to have too much weirdness going on, the question had been raised, what if we could get Freddy onto the second box? Sure enough, after some cheat engine testing, if you got Freddy onto the second box, he'd drop you out no problem up there as well. Montague was as good as ours. However, in order to get Freddy onto the second box, we would have to give Freddy a lift onto the first box using a present lid, then get the lid to land on the first box beside Freddy. Unrealistic is an understatement here. Lids do not obey any perceived laws of physics, except maybe gravity. Sometimes. At a moment's notice, you can knock your lid on the floor, into a wall, or onto an area Gregory couldn't reach which was especially prevalent near where the most precise lid movement was necessary. Boom! Oh, Lydia. What a quirky individual. No, oh, that's not good. Oh, Lydia. Classic Lydia. Within the madness, I created personas out of the two lids that I would use interchangeably. The blue-green one was Liddy, and the golden one was Lydia. Originally, Lydia had been our one and only, but as she struggled with the stairs again and again and again, we kind of had a falling out, and members of the Discord were very quick to pick up on the two new characters within Astral Spit Floor. Wait, is it in here? Oh, that's a good one. That's a classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> Lydia, my beloved. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's, there's Lydia, guys. We've gone from this <laughs> to this very quickly. It's okay, little Liddy buddy. You don't have to be. Oh God. Okay. You don't have to be nervous. Oh, get out of the floor now, Liddy buddy. Here, okay, oh, Liddy too. Or should I call you Lydia? Oh, oh. it's kind of weird. Hey, nobody tell Paige. You flirt with virtual lids for a living? Yikes. David, what, what sort of things can you expect if if we decide to visit your stream? Oh, you know, I I I attempt to use flattery to get gift lids to uh, do my bidding so that I can pick up the goo of a alligator that could be reached no problem using standard game mechanics. I just, I just don't want to. If I were to include this in a video, you know what the best part would be? <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Anybody else just see Lydia manually jump? Like she knew what we needed? <laughs> Is she a boomerang? If you remember popcorn strats, you had a great childhood. Welcome, random person. Oh, no, oh, Lydia, no, Lydia. Oh, God. Lydia got a little bit too excited. We've been at this for probably about 40 minutes now. <laughs> All right. So now if I get Liddy onto that box with Freddy, we will be able to use him to get onto the next one. So it's a trick shot. It's big time trick shot. And it's honestly kind of just up to Liddy. There is no, uh, there is no perfect system of doing this. 
All right, this is my trick shot. <laughs> Here comes my trick shot. Yeah, mine as well, Metallica. Yeah, I know. God damn it. You guys can uh, refer to Liddy however you. Well done, Gregory. <laughs> After three grueling lid pushing hours, I had to call it but not entirely without good things to come. Apparently someone had managed to get over the pipe in trash land. So despite failing on lids today, there was still a shot that I could take the necessary jumps from five to four. I think it's like the momentum of getting on the rock and the pipe at the same time that... <laughs> that does it. <laughs> oh, oh, what? I did, wait. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It's totally momentum. All right, well, victory. Thank you, thank you, people who helped. It felt weird, and I have no idea why it worked, but I was victorious in at least one department on that day. Not only that, but after six and a half hours straight, Tomo had actually successfully gotten the new lid strats to work. I planned to have one more big day with lid strats, and I would wear a suit on stream. Because god damn it, if I was gonna take two lids on a six hour date, I was going to be dressed for the occasion. Before I get to the big day, let's go over the last two jumps of the run. Monty's stage. So, uh, Monty Jabulis actually started uh, in the stage. After a lot of people were just saying that we should uh, find a way to shimmy our way up to so those two jumps i was the first one to say like what if we go down instead of up you know mm -hmm. and that's basically when everything started then we just tried uh running across the fence that wasn't working so then i think it was death got the idea of what if we leave freddy outside and try to get inside freddy mm -hmm. so we actually did that and we found that it actually worked Def B and Tomo were the two main people who worked on Monty's stage, and within a couple days they worked out that if you just got Freddy to the stage, you'd be able to get in him and escape after the fight. Uh, so after that we actually tried to do the wall thing, and that's when we discovered Shit Trigger. Yes, Shit Trigger. If you actually try to leave Freddy by the stage, you'll notice that you can't enter him. That's because there's a trigger as you enter the Monty fight that stops you from being allowed to call Freddy or enter him and it only becomes disabled once you go through the end of the vent after jumping twice. It would be possible to enter the Monty boss fight by using Freddy deloading to skip the trigger, but then you wouldn't have him positioned to get you off the stage. Tons of other things were attempted. Eight hours of pushing melons into the vent to try and clip out, climbing rainbows to try to clip out, yeah, I, I, the best roof collision I ever seen, like, <laughs> possible. Not even with Freddy, you were able to clip out to the ceiling. And so much more. We were kind of lost until Goldie, uh, the one that also gave us how to skip the jump in Trashland, mm -hmm. uh, discovered leg strats. Yes, leg strats. You see, the trigger that stops you from being able to call Freddy loads after most of the level loads. So if you made it to the platform before the gate showed up, which was found to load at the same moment the trigger did, you could get into the boss fight without losing the ability to call Freddy. So if you had Freddy in position at the bottom, you could escape. The obvious massive problem with this is that my computer is fairly above average, so the plan was to open as many Chrome tabs as necessary to lag my computer to the point where I could get to the platform without the trigger loading. The time had come for me to completely shit on my computer with chrome tabs and push lids for six hours. But before I had finished collecting energy drinks and settling down for the long one, two life-changing updates came from Team Tomo. Both Monty Fight and Goo Jumpless were revolutionized. If you fall out of bounds, instead of falling permanently into the void like some games, instead you'll be teleported to your last save. But the only way to set your fail safe save was to save and reload at the save station. So in our case, if we positioned Freddy at the bottom then saved at the top and just went back, then going out of bounds would respawn you up top, again skipping the trigger and Freddy would maintain his position, no lag required. As for the lids, 
instead of having to get a lid onto the first box to lift Freddy onto the second, getting him onto the first box, then positioning the lid to get him onto the toolbox would put him in a position where he could be pushed to the second box. It seems absurd, but I'd gotten it in practice with tools without even too much difficulty. Scrap the suit, pour out the Red Bulls, jumpless was fully possible and might not even take that long. Welcome to the dawn of the big day, where nothing ever goes wrong in my challenge runs. No, no, never, nothing. No, it's, it's gonna be fine. Nothing, nothing bad ever happens. Everything goes to plan. I hit a thousand subs just over a month ago. So I was at 200 like two months ago. Ah! Ah, that's so awkward. I honestly did not think he could come in the elevator. That was a straight T over top my dying body. He was straight flexing on me. Since we like dump all of our sewer into the river, it never freezes because our shit is warm. There's always like mist coming off the river because it's interacting with the cold air. <laughs> shit clouds. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like shit. Look guys, I hate to break it to you, your city also probably pumps shit into some body of water. What do you think it just like gets buried somewhere? I mean, it doesn't make shit fuck. <laughs> it only makes shit fuck because it's cold. Somebody made a joke about mist and now we're talking about how my river fogs because it's full of shit and it's really cold outside. There's the only reason that we ended up talking about poop is because we were talking about fog. Now all I would need is to set up Freddy at the bottom and I'd be set. All I had to do is go back over the trigger and make my way downstairs to fall out of bounds. And I'd end up back to the top with no trigger. So I got Freddy into position by the stage, but I had forgotten to reload at the top once I saved, so I had to go back up. A reminder that you needed to reload at a save to set the point where you'd be taken to once you fall out of bounds. So you can't really see him, but Freddy is down there by the stage. This is where everything falls apart. Mazracize is blocking my path. But why would this happen? I had solved it to get in, so why would it be reset? Well, remember when I said that to set my safe spot to end up at after falling out of bounds, I had to reload the game? Yeah, that resets Mazra's size. It hadn't been tested. My only option was leg strats, by either beating the trigger loading in, or even beating the vent loading in and falling out. We, can hear we were not expecting it to break like this, and the vent might not be loaded, okay? So right, what's the so, so you just have to fall from the vent and ah. you will be back in Montegolf, in Montegolf, okay? I see, I see. All right. Best of luck to my computer. Leg strats it was. I hope the stream doesn't crash. It's gonna be awkward. It's gonna, it's gonna get laggy. Here we go. So this duplicates the Chrome tabs. So I'm just gonna do this. How many do you think we should get? I think we're gonna get like 40 and then open another tab completely. We also have to make all of them play. <laughs> You're not gonna get full volume. All right, this is what you get. <laughs> what is that fire eye smell? <laughs> oh God. It's not high. <laughs> I see that memory creeping up. It's creeping up. Let's go. <laughs> the videos are really struggling to load at this point. Maybe we should try. Oh God. Audio renderer error. Please restart your computer. Maybe now's the time, guys. All right, I gotta make sure I don't fuck this up. Go! <laughs> Run, Gregory. Sprint, my boy. Sprint! Don't let the 90% turn. Oh, turn. turn. This is helping a bunch. We gotta go back. It wasn't enough. It wasn't Defend enough. We gotta go back. <laughs> How the fuck it? How the fuck is the stream still going? <laughs> okay, we're back, guys.
<laughs> Shoot my PC. <laughs> we tried for over an hour bringing my computer to the brink of crashing, even with ray tracing and high graphics on, but some ungodly force was keeping that vent loading in. I was becoming concerned for my computer's health, so we had to call it. While it hurt morale, the game was still beatable without killing Monty. Escape ending and Afton ending were my goal, and they were still completely within reach as long as I could pull off lid strats. Spiff has a small blader, am I right, chat? I had the option of moving the game to my hard drive instead of SSD and trying again, but soon after I gave up on leg strats. I was notified that Tomo's computer had completely died after doing leg strats about a dozen times. Kill the PC over and over and it dies? What? Shockingly, yes. So for the time being, I will not be attempting leg strats again. Monty is killable without jumping, but it requires a worse computer than mine, and I'm not gonna grind mine down until it's bad enough. That's okay. I can still go Chica and Roxy and sneak into the Afton ending. Also, it turned out that Tomo's motherboard is what's fucked, and we crowdfunded him a new one. So... He didn't- he didn't have to sacrifice his computer for jobless. I went back to 4am so I could get the Phaser Blast rep to kill Chica instead, and all I had to do was pull off lid strats with the new and improved lid strat. How'd you discover this? Well, we started with a popcorn cup. I was gonna say just jump on the boxes. Alright, step one down. Trust me guys, this is- if this works now, it will be a very short experience. I do not expect it to work the first time. But holy fuck it, my... I am going to an attempt to launch this motherfucker onto those boxes. Didn't work. We try again. I'm more worried about the lid than I am... Yep, I think that's I think that's Rip on the lid. Lid doesn't have the easier. same personality as Lydia. Lid likes to eat themselves halfway across the bowling alley and Lydia liked to clip into walls. Lydia liked going into walls and also Lydia oh god. Lydia liked going backwards. Watching me run makes you uncomfortable. Only two videos involve me not running. There's still a number of videos. Oh whoa, Lydia! Damn! Oh, no. No, Lydia. How am I doing? I'm doing great. It's giving me a plan to... I'm doing fantastic. Everything has gone flawlessly. <laughs> How'd I think of this? Well, when you need lift, you look around for things that can give lift. Get off the goddamn... Uh, maybe do 250, actually. I haven't checked since I got gas, and gas prices are a little high right now. <sighs> For anybody who was in... I just need a bit of peace. <sighs> Given the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, it's like I have no control over this. Here I am, five hours in, nothing has gone to plan, and I cannot express how nervous I became when I finally got that lid into position and was given another chance to push Freddy. This was my only shot at beating the game jumpless. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my well god. Well done, Gregory. Well done, Gregory. Oh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Let's go, Freddy. <laughs> Let's go, Freddy. <laughs> Finally. It took so long. Oh, God. Yeah, this works. Onwards and forwards, Freddy. Pure euphoria. Hours into the day, and there was a light at the end of the jumpless tunnel. The juice was worth the squeeze, and goddamn was it a squeeze. Goodbye, Ichika! Goodbye! Lid history has been made. <laughs> How long did Lydia take? Too long, Monty. Yeah, we did the lid. Yeah, we did the lid. There was still that one trash land jump that I'd overcome once before, but it was being weird again. I had no idea how I beat it the first time, so I didn't know how I was going to beat it the second. A lot of stuff like this that doesn't work does have something to do with the fact that my computer just runs it better. So I'm going to try and make a bit of lag and see what happens. So if you're here earlier in the stream, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of what we were doing before. Just to see. But I almost wonder if it does have something to do with just having a bit more lag. Look at that! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's entirely lag reliant. Oh jumpless, you are you you sneaky dick. <laughs> That's it. Jumpless achieved. Nothing Roxy related requires jumps, so despite getting my shit kicked in during the arcade by Super Chica, we made it to the escape ending eventually. Bring in Freddy and do this section with the no sprint route too just to make everyone extra mad. <laughs> yeah, actually I've done GDQ submissions before but not been accepted. Chill, Chica. Where did that even come from? How did she aggro onto me when I was randomly saving? This bitch! My god, she's out to get me. Now you might be asking, how do you get to the Afton ending like you wanted without killing Monty? Well, we do a little bit of exploiting here. <laughs> so we get we get to do true ending jumpless. Me <laughs> and my homies hate skates, yeah. Afton was standard, using Fred Door to get someone stuck and enjoying an easy burn. Mission accomplished. Not a perfect victory, but I got both endings I wanted, and all six would have been available jumpless. The game can be beaten jumpless. And I'll beat Monty if we come up with a healthy way of doing it. But really. Who wants to kill Monty, anyway? Thanks again, Monster Legends, for sponsoring the video. Reminder that you can download the game now and claim your sweet rewards up until February 6th. Sub to the channel if you want to see more wild adventures like this one. Toodles.